compare what BMR is versus TDEE so you get the full big picture. But first, I really have to just sit down for a sec and we've got to straighten out a few things, all right? So, sip. The internet is overflowing with BMR misinformation and I'm here to set the record straight. First up, the magic BMR number myth. I saw that term floating around. What does that even mean? This is the podcast that helps women weed through the social media noise and myths to lose weight and keep it off without all the bullshit. Oh, and this is for your ears, not your doctor's orders. Use your head, stay healthy, and crush it. What is up, my hustlers, my health warriors? D here. And I am super fired up to break down BMR with you today. Basal metabolic rate. That's the energy that drives your body's energy needs. I want you to forget the bullshit and forget the quick fixes. And I want to give you information that will help you dominate, dominate your health goals. So today we're going to discuss BMR as the foundation of your energy needs, why BMR matters, the factors that influence your BMR. We're going to compare what BMR is versus TDEE so you get the full big picture. But first, I really have to just sit down for a sec and we've got to straighten out a few things, all right? So, sip. The internet is overflowing with BMR misinformation and I'm here to set the record straight. First up, the magic BMR number myth. I saw that term floating around. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Your BMR is a starting point. It's not like a a crystal ball. It's about understanding your baseline and not uh, going out and just like chasing an arbitrary figure that someone threw out. I saw questions about Uh, whether a certain BMR number is good or a certain number is bad, the question is completely irrelevant. Your body needs a certain amount of energy to survive on a basic level. and That's just what it needs. How can that be possibly good or bad? And how can we possibly compare? What's the point of comparing? And the other thing is, is uh, we, I do want us to touch on BMR calculators, the, the promise of pinpointing accuracy. And, and listen, even the best calculators, they're just estimates. They're helpful tools, but they can't account for every single nuance in your body. There was a study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that actually found that BMR calculations can vary, check this out, up to 20% from person to person. That is huge. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't use them. I I have a free calculator, a free BMR calculator on bodyholic.fit. You're more than welcome to check it out. It it will give you a solid starting point, but you, you have to really remember that BMR calculators do not give you an exact measurement. And, um, Another thing that drives me nuts is, let's not forget the the detox teas and the BMR boosters that promise to rev up your metabolism. I have a spoiler alert. They're hype. They're mostly hype. I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to say everything, but they're mostly hype. These miracle products have little to zero effect on your actual BMR. Your body is a complex super complex system, not a car engine. You can tune it, you can't tune it up with like a quick fix. I want you to focus on whole foods and balanced nutrition and sustainable habits as opposed to the magic metabolism tea. <sighs> One more thing also before before we dive in, and I and I already mentioned it, but I really want to emphasize this big time, okay? The BMR comparison trap Stop comparing, really stop comparing your numbers to others. I'm unique. You're unique. We are all unique. We have different bodies and everybody has its own needs. Focus on what works for you and not what some influencer, with all due respect, is claiming. Okay, let's cut to the chase. 
<sighs> Thank you for humoring me. What is the BMR? What is the basal metabolic rate? It's basically the bare, bare minimum of calories that your body burns just by existing. By breathing, by thinking, by just your heart pumping. That's, that all takes energy. It's your metabolic floor and it's the foundation of understanding how many calories you actually need to fuel your day, crush your workouts, and achieve your goals. Okay, It's the floor of it all. So knowing your BMR, all right, and it's mostly estimates, is like having insider knowledge on your own body. It's kind of like a, a key to unlocking your weight loss potential or your uh, muscle building potential or your performance optimization potential. Whether you're an athlete or just someone who wants to feel their best, BMR is pretty much where it starts, okay? And there are factors that affect your BMR. So your basal metabolic rate is not static. It's influenced by a whole bunch of factors. I'm just listing a few. By your age, by your gender, your height, your weight, your muscle mass, and of course, your genetics. It's, it's like a, a business. You, f- you have fixed costs, but then there are val- variables that can impact your bottom line. But the idea is to just understand what I'm saying and, and, and see how this applies to you. Okay, we have formulas like the uh, Harris Benedict uh, equation. This was developed way back in 1918, and um, we have the Mifflin equation, which is a bit more recent. But these are estimates, and it's not gospel. What they do, and this is what they are supposed to do, is just give you a ballpark figure. They cannot account for every single individual factor. I cannot stand these BMR calculators that that promise you the magic number. It is a starting point, it is not a guarantee, and it's a ballpark number. And here's the thing, the BMR is just the first piece of the puzzle. Your total daily energy expenditure is where the magic happens. It's your BMR plus the calories you burn during activity and digestion. It's like the company's revenue, okay? You need to know both your costs and your income to make smart decisions. Are you with me? So it's, it's your BMR plus everything else. Um, I do have the, a calculator. You can go into bodyholic.fa, you can plug in your numbers, remember it's an estimate, and then go ahead and use this knowledge to fuel your journey. It's not about perfection, it's about progress, and it's about taking that information and going ahead and crushing your goals, all right? So you just plug in, it accounts for several variables, not absolutely everything, not every day of your life. Every day is also different. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there after I um, was comparing different calculators and then looking at what people were saying about BMR and I had a slight, uh, I think I broke out in hives a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, so just wanted to get out there just break it down for you. We don't have to get into the nitty gritty of the science. I just want you to understand that it's a great starting point. It is a ballpark figure. There is no good or bad. There's no comparison. Um, yeah. And there are no magic teas. And if there are, then, then amazing. Please give me a shout. Tell me what it is. Uh, I will be happy to look into it. Uh, But so far, I have not really found a magic BMR potion. Okay, guys, (laughs) I'm going to let you go now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and talking about BMR. 
And if you felt like there was value to what we just discussed, please share this episode. Please subscribe to the Bodyholic Rants. You can find me on Bodyholic on Instagram, Bodyholic on YouTube. You can email me at d at bodyholic.fit. Ask away. Your questions are taken super, super seriously. And if it's really, really worth it, I'm totally going to hop on and podcast about it. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. And if this hit home, please share it with your crew. Likes, comments, shares, show your loved ones you care. A Bodyholic Production.